Well here we are again on Harmy's Adventures. We've got Jace home from Canada. It's early January and we're uh, on a two hour walk into the Kawikas to a little uh, bivvy spot we have with the aim of getting a little bit of um, venison for Jace's upcoming wedding in March. So we've got a camp set up for tonight. Just a little bib site that we have. Unfortunately this is where things started to go wrong. Um, we started to have problems with our camera. We lost the sound and then um, it wouldn't switch on. So um, this is probably the end of the footage but uh, we do have some pictures of the animals that we took. Um, so yeah, join us with that and then we'll go through the next stage. So last weekend um Jason and I went up hunting and we managed to um, get this and we have turned it into this so um, venison chorizos which um, have been smoked and all bagged up and we've done some salami and we're about to put that into the smoker so it um, was made yesterday sits for around um, 24 hours allows the sulfates to work and then we uh, put it into the smoker for um, about an hour and a half smoking and then about 30 minutes cooking. This is the smoker. So we um, so take some shelves out and then um, yeah, they'll hang from up here. So I'll just take some shelves out and um, hang them up and then I'll come back to you. So we've got these guys in place now and they'll just hang there. Um, until they get a bit drier, about half an hour, and then we'll start the smoke process. So we've got a mix of honeysuckle and hurikawa um, chips in here. This is our smoker, comes through and also goes through into there. As long as it's dry, we're all set to go, so we'll get this smoker lit. And guess what, the sound on the camera is gone again. So we're just in the process of lighting the chips and um, getting them to start to smoulder. Um, once they're smouldering away, you can then just take the flame away. We've got the little air pump that uh, pushes air through and it pushes the smoke in through. And as you can see, it happens pretty quick. So um, yeah, we'll just close the door off. And leave that for about an hour and a half. And it sits there at um, about um, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's the damper at the top which controls the uh, flow of air through or flow of smoke. So the smoker box is going beautifully as it's supposed to. So we've finished smoking now. So, uh, Next step is to um, put some heat in and cook them through. Just checking in on the um, smoking. So it's um, up to 48 degrees and our target is 71. She's still smoking away there. And our um, box temperature is about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. It's perfect for right in the smoking range. And we'll just wait for that to um, get up to temp. And that's for the small ones, and then um, we'll carry on for the bigger ones. And the sound on the camera is gone again. So we've got uh, the first six salamis out, which are the smaller ones, and we're just chilling those in ice water for about uh, a good 10 15 minutes. And then we'll hang those in the fridge. So just come out of the smoker foot-long venison salami and isn't that a sight to behold now she just needs to um, cure in the fridge for about three weeks and then she'll be ready to eat and then we've got the last two salamis um, just at 62 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, centigrade at the moment and just doing the final um, getting up to 71 and then we'll take the final two out the last two salamis are coming out these are the uh, fat boys Pulling them out. They weigh just under two kilograms each. 
and pop them into the water. So now they're just chill in here for a while. So that's it. So that's, um, we've turned a deer into um, venison chorizos and salami, pepperoni salami.